stretching out your your accent. <laughs> yeah, get your accent. Get your accent stretched out. We got a big week of ministry ahead of us. Is that even like? Is there even a reason that I'm putting all the clips on your Facebook wall? You don't even have time to look at them ever, do you? <laughs> okay, I just won't then. I think we're just supposed to dump it all on YouTube and, and then the energy starts getting weird. I just noticed uploading videos, things start happening. Uploading videos, um, that's part of that spiritual battle. Then you get the material advantage automatically. You don't need money. You don't need money, you just need YouTube videos? Yeah, because it, it leaves the spiritual battle out there. Oh, there you go. There you go. Try to buy a cheeseburger with a YouTube video, though. It'll probably work. You'll probably someone will just give you a cheeseburger and you'll say, I'll, "I bet that's because we put those YouTube videos up." Because people start giving yeah. us, people well, start hey, giving us stuff. I'll trade you this cheeseburger for if you want to watch this YouTube video. Or anyway, I want a cheeseburger, and all you gotta do is watch this video. No, you don't get it. Huh? That's not how it works. <laughs> They don't have to watch. Like, they don't oh, even I have to watch, watch it. Why do I want to watch your stupid video for? Because they cheeseburger for. Normally they wouldn't give you a cheeseburger because they're possessed by the that Pharisee money worship game. But yeah. once they're not possessed by the money worship, they just start giving you stuff. We're just. It's oh, like an yeah. exorcism. They're. They think that you have to give them this paper money for them to give you something back, and that's what that's what the spiritual possession they're under. Yeah. So once once the, the you do a temporary, it's kind of a temporary exorcism. Eventually, they come the the ukis come back and take over their mind again. But for a temporary amount of time, it pushes out the the adherence to paper money worship that everyone is under right now I think I'm the only one I know that that consistently knows that paper money isn't is just paper money and, and people are worshiping because uh, the Federal Reserve put all the gold away they won't let us trade the gold they just they say oh here just here's a symbolic of the gold that we'll we'll keep the gold for you but here here's some so they got they got enough gold that everyone in the world could use gold as a currency but they'd rather just control you with paper money because they just want to keep all the gold in the federal reserve in the vaults and there's enough of it there that the whole world there must be so much gold in there and then they keep gold they won't have to do gold mining anymore because if they just got all the gold and made coins out of it and gave it to the world and then let people trade on their own and not have to and then there wouldn't be banks but doesn't the Knights Templar have something to do with banks that's the world bank you got anything about Knights Templar and the world bank in there Huh? What happened a long time ago? There is no gold. It's all in the vaults of the Federal Reserve. No, got stolen. Those pictures of the forklifts moving it around are just fake. Well, wherever it is, it could be used. Yeah, some, uh, if that gold was used to make coins instead of uh, instead of worshiping paper money, look at how many people think that paper is real. 
just because it has some Masonic symbols on it, they like jump through so many hoops. It that, works. That's it's a spiritual you possession. It works. You take it to the store and you buy shit with it. They don't care. They don't. Yeah, it works because everyone's under. Everyone is. They don't think about the theory of it.